Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. My colleague Nick is down in London this week uh, training to be Google Analytics qualified so uh, this week I thought I'd just do a quick video blog that shows you how to uh, define your website in Dreamweaver CS5. So the, it's quite important to define your websites in Dreamweaver CS5 so that you can take advantage of all the features and also check things like uh, dead links and it makes linking and uh, file sourcing a lot easier. Uh, and that's on top of also being able to take advantage of Dreamweaver's built-in FTP manager. So let's get started by looking at exactly how uh, and where you can define your website in Dreamweaver. So first of all, the obvious place at the moment on the welcome screen, you can uh, create a new Dreamweaver site up here. You can also manage your websites through the panel across the top where you can make a new site or manage your sites. You can also go to site, new site or manage sites. And then finally, you can also manage your websites through the file manager at the bottom. And you can see you've got manage sites at the bottom there. So let's set up a new Dreamweaver site. We'll click the link on the welcome screen. And if, uh, if you're familiar with previous versions of Dreamweaver, you'll notice already that the uh, site manager, the definition manager has actually changed quite substantially. The great thing about the, uh, the, you know, the latest version is that you only need to uh, define a site name so let's just call this one uh, James Test. This is the name of our, of our site. Then also you just choose where on your computer that you want to store your local files. So let's make a new folder on the desktop and we'll call it James. So this is where I'm going to store the local uh, HTML files. If you've already got a website, just simply go and locate those files um, you know, using the, uh, the file selector. So we can literally at this point hit save um, in order to uh, proceed and start taking advantage of the site manager. Whereas previously in older versions you had to uh, set up or declare that you didn't have any FTP settings before you could even uh, complete the site manager. So already that's quite a nice, uh, a nice sort of efficient process of getting started. Now the servers is now a separate tab on the left hand side and this is where you uh, set up your connections either to your um, hosting that you've purchased uh, and you, this is where you connect via FTP or if you're a little bit more advanced and you're you know, using a local testing server like on a Mac you may have MAMP for example you can also define these here and the great thing in CS5 is you can actually now define more than one site at any one time which is really handy if you're working on both a um, live uh, remote server and also a local testing server so let's start by adding a server uh, and we'll call this one perhaps um, FTP to hosting. So this could be, you know, our connection to our hosting that we may have purchased with, uh, you know, someone like Fast Hosts, for example, in the UK. And then you've got Connect using FTP or SKU FTP, and a few of the local settings. Uh, this is where you would punch in the FTP address, and you know, this could be an IP address, or sometimes it's FTP uh, at the domain name. Uh, we could put in username and password, and you can test your connection here before you save the site. Um, and sometimes in hosting as well, you may have to bypass a folder like htdocs or http docs. Um, you know that, that's sort of common with some uh, some hostings. You also have some additional more options if you wanted to use passive FTP, um, you know, to tailor the connection to your server's uh, server settings. So uh, there's also again some further advanced settings when you're defining FTP similar to the previous versions. And we can hit save, and you'll see that our FTP to hosting server. Is connected. If we wanted to then set up a second um, server, we could uh, do so by following the exact same process. And you'll notice that you can actually define whether they're testing and or remote servers. So they're the basic settings so far when you define your website. You simply choose a name, choose where you're locally hosting, uh, sorry, locally storing the files. And then if you have um, remote access ready, you can define the FTP connections to those servers. Um, next, we'll skim through the other features that are available when defining um, a website. First of all, there's version control. Um, if you're familiar with uh, subversions, uh, you may have a, an SVN server, for example, where you can store um, you know, historical versions, uh, complete versions of your websites should you wish to roll back to them at a later stage. So you can set that up through version control. Then in the advanced settings, there's quite a, new, uh, quite a few new features in CS5, like you can specify local information, like where you store your... Uh, default, you know, where your default image folder is, and this can help speed up the, uh, you know, the, ma the management of your site in Dreamweaver. You then got cloaking. 
if, uh, if, for example, you wanted to exclude certain files you may have on your local remote view like uh, .fla or .psd, you can do so in here. Personally, I don't have any files um, in my local remote view that aren't appropriate to the website in order to make it to, to function. Uh, because of the intellectual property of storing these kind of files and also the time it takes to upload them, I just don't. I just keep them separate from you know from the files that make up the website. Uh, next, you've got design notes. Uh, you can have uh, file view columns, which is actually quite an interesting new tool. If you're on a small screen like I am with this laptop, um, and you're developing complex websites, maybe like Magento or WordPress, you'll obviously be familiar with the fact that the the folder, the category structure of the folders, goes very very deep, and Certain columns like the size, the type, and the modified are taking up valuable space. Now you can reduce these manually, like uh, like what you see there. But what you can now also do in the site definition is to actually remove those. Um, so you see how you've got show and hide, and also you can add other columns that may be suitable or relevant to the site that you're working on. So that's quite useful. You've got integration with Contribute. There's a setting here if you use Dreamweaver templates. And finally, there's, uh, you have the ability to define where the assets for your Spry widgets may, may live should you use um, Spry. Okay, so that's our website set up and we've pretty much skimmed through all of the features and settings that are available in the Dreamweaver site manager. So let's push save and you'll see on the right hand side in the file panel we can now access and manage our website uh, which will help us when developing and also uploading our files to the server. So I hope this week's video has been uh, useful for you, particularly if you're new to CS5 and we're quite interested to know what's changed in the uh, site manager. Uh, don't forget to tune in for next week's video blog. Um, my uh, colleague Mike McKinley is actually doing a business presentation uh, in Park Lane in London to some uh, local businesses talking about the importance of uh, you know, web design and, and getting your marketing right. So uh, that video will be available uh, as next week's video blog.